What's up muscle car people? Bring it muscle cars here. Today we're working on our old champion. No. What's up? What? What's up muscle car people? This is Bring It Muscle Cars and I'm Jared. Today we're working on the Rally Cross Champion. Okay. And the battery okay. issue. Okay, sure. What's up muscle car people? Bring it muscle cars. I'm Jared. Today we are working on our 2020 Rally Cross Champion Chevy Impala. So Matt suggested uh, the other day, why don't I daily drive this car and keep miles off the Fiesta? It's a weird idea. But there's one reason I can't, it's because the battery drains itself in like a day or two. I don't know why. Uh, I did do a battery relocate in the trunk just because uh, of where the battery is on this car. It got hit and it didn't really fit there anymore so there's a wire ran to the back but that's not a big deal. Um, so what we're going to do today is show you guys how to do a parasitic draw test to see what's draining your battery and how to do it. Alright, so we have the battery here in the trunk. The first step what you're going to do is disconnect the uh, ground wire. So And that's not how you should wire it up, but... I don't... What? Why? Look at that thing. It's all hanging out, but whatever. No, it goes into here. Yeah. Okay. This in here, uh, it's grounded right there on the frame. Um, as you can see, there's like a couple sets of jumper cables in here, so that's why uh, we're having issues. So, what you're gonna do then, you disconnect the ground, you got your multimeter here, all right? This is just a cheap Harbor Freight one, but it'll work. Set it to amps, put one wire into the slot for amps, it says 10 amp DC right there. Uh, put the other one down here, and all you're really going to do, I'll leave that there, hopefully you can uh, see that. Let's try to zoom in. Uh, what you're going to do is put one end on the... Whoops. Alright, so we have one end of the multimeter to the uh, negative terminal on the battery. you got your ground wire here. Take the other wire, put it in line here, okay? So, as you can see on the meter, it's jumping up over two amps of draw. That's not good. You want it to be around uh, 0 0.01, 0 0.02 at the most. So two amps is a pretty substantial current draw, and that's a problem. So now we are going to have to go uh, fix it, and I'll meet you in the front of the car, and we'll show you how to do that. Okay, so we're here at the fuse box. Uh, this is the main fuse box in the engine bay here. As you can see, that's where the battery goes. It's kind of tight down there. So what you do for a battery draw test is you have your meter hooked up in the back. You pretty much just pull fuses out and see if the current drops. That way then you can isolate what circuit it's on. And then you can narrow down. Uh, once you're on that circuit, you can see, you know, if it's your cigarette lighter, you can check to see if there's a wire shorted out, something like that there. So... I'm just going to start pulling go in the back. fuses, and we're just going to see if, oh, oh man, I'm Oh, sorry, here, finish up. And I was just going to, so I'm going to pull a fuse, and then we're going to go back and check to see if the amperage has changed on the meter. It's less. Mm, sort of. All right, so that's it. That's at 1.3 volts. I'm going to go up front, put that fuse back in. Matt, you're going to tell me if that's jumped up or not. What's that? 1.3. No, it's the same. Yeah, it's bouncing around a little bit, but it's the same. All right. I'm going to try some more here. All right, guys. So that's at 1.3 volts. Let's see if that jumps up or not. Yeah, it's jumped up. 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 Yeah, it's jumped uh, we kind of found the issue. Uh, what you want to do is just look for a significant amperage drop on your meter. We saw it, but it was also bouncing all around, all over the place. Um, what you don't want to do is be in and out of the car, opening doors and stuff. Every time you do that, 
you engage a bunch of circuits and your amperage is gonna go up, that's normal. Uh, when your car is just not doing anything, that's not normal. That's not what you want is a high amperage draw. So we pulled a couple fuses we think might be it. Um, Tell them which ones. Uh, what we pulled the interior light fuse and the uh, cigarette lighter fuse to see if that's gonna keep the draw from happening. I guess. And maybe I can drive the car every day. So. And with especially with this lovely tint job. Yeah. Don't don't just stop. There's a video on that. Just stop. So. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and if you got a fast car, you better bring it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to link a couple videos, well, I'm going to link a video on this side right here, right under the S550 that you probably will like, and I'm going to link a playlist for something similar to what you just watched right here. Please click one of those, click that subscribe button, because we need as many subscribers as possible to keep bringing you this awesome content. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more action.